Hey everyone, I'm Mine, and this is set number 75547, Minion Pilot in Training from the LEGO Minions theme. This set contains 119 pieces, too many figures, and will retail for $29.99 in the US. This is a set that was supposed to come out back in 2020, but was delayed till 2021 because of the pandemic, but is now going to be coming out on April 26, 2021, and this is an early copy of this set, which was sent to me early by the LEGO group through the LEGO Master Network, but all opinions expressed in this video are my own. This is also a 4 plus set, which means it is intended for younger LEGO builders uh, ages 4 and up. And that means that the set just uses less small pieces, it uses a lot of bigger pieces and no stickered pieces, so keep that in mind. And with all that being said, let's get on to the review. So here is the build of Minion Pilot in Training, which I'm sorry, that and that that's in the contenders for the worst LEGO set names ever, I think. Minion Pilot in Training. <laughs> but yeah, you can see this is the one and only build of the set, which is this plane right here. I've never actually gotten one of these LEGO planes before, right? Like, the planes to use, like, this molded nose piece. So this is inherently a little cool to me just because I've never had something like this, and it's so cool to get my first LEGO plane. However, to people who already have, like, LEGO planes from LEGO City or whatever, I'm sure this would be a lot less exciting than them. Regardless, I do find it really interesting how it's designed. The entire bottom of this plane, you can see, is one piece, right? Like, this entire, like, base right here and the wings coming out is all one part. Four plus sets have a lot of these huge parts that just like make up the base of vehicles, but this is by far the biggest I've ever seen. Like I'm shocked that the wings are attached to this too. It's cool, but like it's it's just interesting to me. You may have noticed when I was uh, reading the piece count, the piece count is like shockingly low, but I think that's why because that is one massive piece in this set. Yeah, from the outside, the plane looks decently good. Obviously, very basic, but you have the uh, Lego plane nose out the front. I think that's the best looking. You have a bunch of windows on the side right here. I think those are pretty cool. You have some lights on each side. You have these like uh, smaller wings coming out of the larger wings. You have these little engines underneath the wings. You have four wheels underneath the plane, two bigger ones back there, and one smaller one up here. A larger wing out the back right here. This is a printed piece. I think that's a really cool print to get. And then some smaller like yellow wings coming out the back. And then speaking of the back, there's a back compartment right here, which opens up just like this and can get access to the inside right here. You could fit a minion in there if you wanted, but I think it's more meant for like luggage. You could put the uh, minion's luggage in there if you want, or I guess any other character if you don't want to actually use the minions with this set. There's a decent amount of room in there, not like a ton, but yeah, you could fit a decent amount of stuff in there if you wanted to. Coming back around to the front of the plane though, it can actually be taken apart at two different points. The first is the main nose or cockpit of the plane. This entire piece just comes off just like that. And there you can get access to the driver's seat and where the minion itself sits. I'll we'll remove him from now. We'll take a look at him when we take a look at the minifigures. As you can see, there's a classic Lego chair right there. In front of it, you have this uh, printed console piece right here with this little like transparent red piece on top. I feel like the minions don't fit the best in the chairs. They just sort of stand in them instead of sit in them. But I mean, they do still fit and the cockpit still closes up, so I will give it that. And then the next point, the second taken apart is the middle section of the roof of the plane. Pull back on these bars right here so the tire piece just pops off and you can move that to the side. And there you get access to the passenger area. You can see there's a seat where yet another minion is sitting. This one is a passenger. There's only one seat in there. You can only fit one extra minion, which is a little disappointing with how wide the plane is. I'd expect like a little more room for figures, but it's not the biggest deal and you still fit the one, so that's nice. In front of the chair, there's a little table to hold some food. You can see there's a hot dog right here, but you can easily remove that. And then there's a divider between the passenger section and the driver's section. If you wanted to remove the table, you could probably fit another chair in here, but the set doesn't come with any more chairs, it just comes with the two, so that's something to keep in mind. And then if we turn around behind this chair, there is yet another divider, which leads into another room, which is a bathroom, of course, right? The minions need to be able to use the bathroom when they're on the plane, so thank goodness they included that. You have a little toilet bowl right here, and I assume this is supposed to be toilet paper? I'm not sure why the toilet paper is pink, that confuses me a little bit, but uh, I do like how that was designed, I like the use of the Technic pin and uh, this like spacer piece on top of it, it's just a little odd to me that it's pink, but okay. <laughs> and yeah, that's about it for the interior of this plane. It's just this and that back cargo area that I showed you before. So now that we've looked at all that, let's take a look at the minifigures. Here are the two minifigures included in this set. We have Stuart in his pilot outfit, and then we have Bob. Stuart is completely exclusive to this set, exclusive face for an exclusive torso, and this torso does not come on any other minion in any other set. That is a big draw of this set, I guess. If you want all the variants of the minions, the uh, Stuart torso here is exclusive, and as well as his uh, face print for Stuart. He just seems sort of unamused, and he's got like a whole pilot's outfit. The pilot outfit's actually really cool. It's really interesting how they fit that on the minion's body. It's interesting, like, because there is a little bit of molding for the overalls, and that doesn't fit perfectly with the pilot design, but I think they did a fairly good job with it. You can see it comes with a printed piece of a bag of peanuts. I'm not sure if that's new, but regardless, that's a really cool print just to have, whether you're a fan of minions or just a fan of LEGO. That's just something cool to have in your collection. There's nothing about it that's, like, minion-specific, so I really do like that print. 
And then as you saw, he also comes with a classic brown Lego suitcase. Uh, these can be opened up if you've never seen these before. You could keep something small inside, there's nothing in his suitcase, but it's cool that he includes one here. Yeah, Stuart's a fairly good figure. My only real complaint with him, which is a complaint I have with a lot of the Minions figures, is the eye printing. If you compare his eye printing to Bob's eye printing, you can see the white is a lot less vibrant and the yellow is just like off color. It does not match the yellow of his skin. I really wish they had printed that on darker so the colors are more vibrant and more like accurate because it's clear that th those are not the colors these are supposed to be. They're supposed to be this color. So it's weird to see that it's not the correct color. But it's not a huge deal, and the figure does still look good. I just would have appreciated that extra step to make the figure look perfect. Bob here comes with two accessories. He comes with a banana, and then he comes with, like, a little ray gun with some, like, uh, green bubbles coming out, or green ice cream. I don't know what you want to imagine that as. And then Bob himself is kind of exclusive here. The, like, actual face print is not, but the eye combination is. Like, there's so many weird variants of the minions in this set. No two are exactly alike. Like, a lot share some pieces, but pretty much every set, each minion has some level of exclusivity to them. With Bob here, it's the combination of the eyes with the torso design. Bob has the same exact face print in every set, but the only set he comes with the same eye combination in is the set that comes with him in a different outfit. This is really specific, and I'm sure most people don't care about the intricate specifics of exclusive minion figures, but in my opinion, this is the best version of Bob. However, a pretty good version comes in a $20 set that is a much better set, so I'd recommend you get that set instead if you want to get a Bob minifigure. But yeah, other than that, he just has the standard Minion overalls, which as I've talked about before, the uh, Minions were translated really well into LEGO form, and I think he looks absolutely perfect in the overalls, and I have really no complaints with them. And there's how these two look from the back. Overall, pretty darn good. So overall, would I recommend this set? This one I'm a bit divided on. If it was like $20, this would be an amazing set, but... 30 is definitely pushing it a little bit for this set, especially because you only get too many figures and only, and only 119 pieces. The huge, like, base of the plane piece does, like, justify that a little bit for me, but I don't know. Of all the minion sets, there's definitely better ones you could get. I do still like the plane, though, and I think it's definitely pretty good, especially for the target audience, kids ages 4 and up. But this is not one of those 4 plus sets where I'm like, eh, yeah, it's still good for older collectors. Like, the plane's cool, but there's, de like, if you're into planes, I'm sure you have bigger and better planes from other themes, so you really don't need this one. The exclusive minion torso is cool, so if you're, like, a completionist and want, like, every variant of minions, that's something. But other than that, yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend this one. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please press like and subscribe if you're new. I do LEGO videos like this every single day, so if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!